how can I write my own custom text file into the file system using Access? I'm your host, Sean McKenzie, and today we're going to go back to our Microsoft Access playlist. We're going to talk about how to use VBA to write a custom uh, text file in your operating system, somewhere on your C drive or on your desktop or whatever. And we're also going to take a look at how to edit those uh, text files. And uh, we're going to uh, do some uh, referencing of certain libraries to make it so that your code is nice and clean. So without further ado, let's get to it. Looking for more resources for your project? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Okay, you guys, so I'm using uh, the same file that we've used a few times here, and uh, I've, I've filtered on the left side for text file because I'm going to make a module for text file. And uh, in order to do that, I'm gonna go to the Create ribbon, and then I'll go far over to the right-hand side there and click on that uh, module uh, button, and it's going to give us a new a new module. And I'm just going to hit Control S here to save it, and then I'll call it Write Text File as my module name, and now uh, that'll show up in our list uh, whenever we close this here. But we'll spend most of our time in here, and we're going to go to Tools and then References. Um, and then we're going to look for the uh, Microsoft scripting runtime. There it is. And we're going to check that one on. And uh, this is uh, the best way of doing it. It's the cleanest way to, to uh, reference in um, using uh, text functions. And uh, there's another way to do it using late binding. Uh, but I'm not going to show that today uh, in favor of using uh, this version inside of Microsoft Access where we can reference it and get nice clean code using the IntelliSense uh, autocomplete. And uh, you can get to see all of the different functions and, and things that are available to us. And though I used the late binding example in our VB script uh, examples in other videos, in this video, we're going to uh, do a proper reference. And so I'm going to uh, create a new subroutine. I called it write text file, which is very simple. It's going to write a text file. And we're going to give ourselves some variables here to get started. Um, so we're going to need a string for the file. So we'll call that str file. Uh, we're going to create a, a variable for our file system object, uh, which is going to give us all kinds of cool stuff to play with uh, in the file system. Uh, we're going to create uh, a, a stream file uh, variable as a text stream. And we're going to um, uh, use our text as a string. So that's going to be the text that we put into our text file. It's going to be a line of text. And first, we'll insert one line. And then we'll open the text file to show you. And then we'll open it again. And we'll insert another line just to show you how to use the append uh, features in in the uh, text file or in the uh, file system object and so I'll create our text string here and I'm going to call it uh, this is a really cool text file and that's the line that we're going to put into a new text file in our file system and then uh, I'm going to uh, put the file path in so you can put in uh, any path that you want. Generally speaking, you can even put in UNC paths. So those are the ones with two backslashes and then some network location. You can also do that. Um, uh, in this case, I'm going to use the C drive and I'm going to go all the way up to my desktop and I'm going to create uh, new awesome text.txt and, and that'll be my text file for today. Um, so then we're going to set our, uh, our object, our file system object um, to a new uh, file system object. And then I'll set our, our text stream uh, equal to uh, STM. So STM file will set that equal to our uh, file system object in which we'll use uh, object fso.create text file. And uh, then we'll put our file name in. Now notice that we were able to use the IntelliSense autocomplete there, and it gave us lots of options. 
Um, so, um, so make a note of that. That's a nice uh, feature over using the late binding uh, where you don't get to see that. And um, we put our argument for the for the file name in there with the path. So that's going to create a new text file in, in whatever path that you decided to create in the str file line up above. And then we'll say uh, our you know file stream stm file dot write line. And then our argument will be uh, our text string. And then we're going to close that text uh, stream. Uh, STM file. We're going to close that, and that's going to save the results of our of what we've been doing uh, with uh, creating a new text file. And then uh, in Access, it's a good idea um, to set uh, certain variables equal to nothing when you're done with them uh, to make sure that the uh, resources are released. Um, so this is our little procedure here. Uh, we've got our uh, you know. We've got everything we need to create a text file. We've got the path. We've got some text to put in there. And, uh, and we've closed it, opened and closed it. So now if I run this, uh, this uh, procedure, uh, you can see it, it uh, zips through and it completes. And we can go and check and see what our text file looks like. So I can see it over here. And there, there's our new awesome text uh, file that I created. It's a little bit big. <laughs> My, my window opened just massively there on the on the notepad, but you can see this is a really cool text file, and uh, we've opened and closed that text file using the uh, file system object, and that is really cool. Now, what if we wanted to add to this text file? Um, that'll kind of be like the next thing that we would do would be, hey, you know what? I'd like to uh, add to this file, and so we can do that. Uh, this is our file system object here, which we created, and we can just use uh, a similar uh, similar function. Uh, you can see if I do dot, we, we get our nice selections there, and it went to open text file there, which was a little bit fast. Uh, but we're going to put in our file name, and then we can choose an argument in the second argument there. We can choose for appending, and uh, and that's going to open that text file, and it's going to add whatever line we ask for to whatever's in the text file. And so um, in order, once we run that one, then uh, that's going to update uh, our text file there. And you can imagine if we ran this on a loop through a table or a record set or something, you could output very custom lines into the text file on every pass of the loop. But in this case, we're going to just insert the same line that we inserted before. So we'll have two of the same line and it will close the text file just as it did before and save in the process. So if I click the uh, run uh, icon on the toolbar there, that's going to run the procedure. And now if I open the same text file, you can see I've put two different lines in there or two of the same lines in there. And uh, that is how you can write a text file in Access. Interested in supporting my work? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description.